Vice President-elect Kamala Harris is the first in a number of ways. The first woman, the first black person, and the first Indian American in this role. But for Harris, being a first is nothing new. Quick Take's Vanessa Perdomo takes a closer look at her remarkable story. Kamala Harris is the daughter of an Indian immigrant, Shamala, and a Jamaican-born father, Donald. She was raised biracial and interfaith. She is Christian, but also attended Hindu temples with her mother. Her father became a college professor, and her mother was a breast cancer researcher, who she often credits as her role model. Uh, when, when she, she came, came here, here from India, India at the age of 19, she maybe um, didn't quite imagine this moment. But she believed so deeply in an America where a moment like this is possible. And so I am thinking about her and about the generations of women, black women, Asian, white, Latina, Native American women, who throughout our nation's history have paved the way for this moment tonight. Harris attended Howard University and is a member of Alpha Kappa Alpha, the nation's oldest black sorority. Members have turned up at her events and have been active donors, many giving $19.08 to note the year the group was founded. She has a law degree from the University of California, Hastings, and began her career in the Almeda County District Attorney's Office. Since then, Kamala Harris has been a first in nearly every office she has ever held. In 2003, she was elected San Francisco's district attorney, becoming the first black woman to be named to the post. After that, she was elected as the first African-American and first woman to serve as California's attorney general. Harris labels herself a progressive prosecutor, often stating that one of her key focuses is on criminal justice reform. That hasn't spared her from some criticism about her criminal justice record, with some pointing to rising convictions. In 2016, she was elected to the U.S. Senate, representing the state of California. She became the first South Asian American senator in history and a prominent member of Congress, in part because her sharp questioning during hearings. Has the president or anyone at the White House ever asked or suggested that you open an investigation of anyone? Yes or no, please, sir. Um, the president or anybody else. Seems you'd remember something like that and be able to tell us. Harris officially started her run for the 2020 presidential candidacy in January of 2019. I'm running for president of the United States. I love my country. And this is a moment in time that I, I feel a sense of responsibility to stand up and fight for the best of who we are. She officially ended her run for president in December of 2019 and endorsed Biden as the Democratic candidate about three months later. Biden announced Harris as his running mate in August of 2020, making good on his promise to elect a woman as his vice president. And what a testament it is to Joe's character that he had the audacity to break one of the most substantial barriers that exists in our country and select a woman as his vice president. Vice President-elect Harris has promised to bring her diverse perspective to the new Biden administration. But while I may be the first woman in this office, I will not be the last. Because every little girl watching tonight sees that this is a country of possibilities. The biggest stories, the moment they happen from around the globe. Subscribe to Bloomberg Quick Take now for insight in an instant.